Hi, everyone. Welcome in. My name's Carrie, and this is a pre recorded premiere of uh, Mr. Darrell Brooks, the Waukesha Parade attacker, who decides to uh, call up some of his own witnesses that did not help him at all. In fact, most of them hurt him. And I've put together a little compilation here of their responses to his repetitive questions. And I've even added some bonus at the end of how the prosecution gets up and just slams that door on it all. One quick note before we get started. Tomorrow, 10 a.m., Friday, July the 21st, we will be live streaming the pre-trial hearing for Erica Patterson's case against Darrell Brooks. This is the case in which he ran over her with the same vehicle that he drove through the Waukesha Christmas Parade in November 2021. So please make sure you go in, click that notify button so you'll know when we go live tomorrow. But if you forget, set your timer, 10 a.m. Be here on Character Productions channel. And with that, let's get to the video. The defense may call its next witness. Who's here? Bertram, Hayes, Aldrich, and Lestano are present and ready, Your Honor. Thank you. Who's the last two? Aldrich and Lescano. What did you see? Besides the parade? <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, that that was unusual that caught your eye that, that evening. Well, where we were, yes, a, a red truck came through where we were. It honked and swerved. Do you recall telling her there's a shooting? Possibly. I'm assuming at some point your attention got drawn to something happening. Would that be fair to say? Not necessarily. You just used the name Mr. Brooks for the first time since you've been testifying. Is that fair to say? <coughs> That's fair to say, yes. Why haven't you used that name before? You've been up there for quite some time. It, I didn't need to. Object. Well, I, I realize there's no question at this point, but if he's going to ask the witness to answer his prior question, now that he's clarified this is irrelevant question. Do you recall? I just answered that. Did you observe at any time that evening seeing someone run from the vehicle? No. Do you recall stating that the other two were described as running in a westerly direction from the rear of 338 Maple Street? No. Uh, what were you doing that evening? Went to the parade. <coughs> that was relevant. He said what was on his no, page. No, you've talked at length about the subpoena. So under 906.11, Move on to a new topic, please. So what changed for the last question that you needed to? I don't understand your question. And what did you see that day, if you recall? I saw a red SUV plow over a bunch of people. Uh, did you... Get a description of who was driving the vehicle you saw that day? I did not. Did you get a license place? I did not. 
Uh, do you recall if the vehicle had any tinted windows? No. Do you recall who served you the subpoena? Objection relevant. Grounds. Overruled, the witness may answer. Uh, the district attorney's office from Waukesha. Do you recall if it was a specific district attorney? I do not recall. Did you see anyone else in the vehicle? No. And uh, do you recall being informed that it was a possibility, a possibility that you would be testifying in this matter? No, I did not know that. Uh, if he would like to call the DCI agent, then he may do so. Grounds, do you recall the gist of which you prepared? Can you be more specific? So why not be very confident the first time that question was asked? Grounds, grounds. And Did you see the driver of this SUV you're referring to? Yeah, you're standing right there. That question wasn't answered, yes, but okay. So what other details do you not recall? <laughs> you're under, how does someone recall the details that they don't recall. Yeah, that's what I wonder. Sustain this to the form of the question. <laughs> Seems very funny. Do you recall if the vehicle uh, passed close to where you were, were walking at at the time? Yeah, it was close enough that it could have easily uh, have, have uh, clipped me or the two people that were in front of me. But you do recall seeing the operator wearing a black sweater. I don't remember. And how many people did you see in the vehicle? Just one, the driver. So, do you recall Flagging down a law enforcement vehicle that evening? Yeah, I do. And do you recall what you told the officer that evening? <coughs> no, not very well. You just stated that you didn't mention the name before because you didn't need to. So what about the last question that you answered made you feel like you needed to use the name for that question and no question before that? I don't know. The evening of November 21st, 2021. Uh, <coughs> you recall that evening pretty well? Fairly well, yes. Do you recall why you would have gave uh, a description that evening when initially interviewed by law enforcement? Because I saw the person in the car. And how did that person look? I don't remember. Yes, Grounds. Oh, this answer may stand. Did you observe three or four people in the SUV as it passed you? I don't remember that. Honked and swerved? Yes. What did it swerve from? I'm sorry? What, what did it swerve from? Where? The one that you received from the district attorney's office in July didn't have a, a case caption on it? A what's a case caption? So, to your recollection, the SUV that you saw, did it have tinted windows? I don't remember. So, I'm, well, before we get to that, uh, did you see where the vehicle went after it honked and swerved? Yes, it kept on going straight down Main East. Well, the same 
route the parade went? <laughs> Sir, were, in, in July, when you received your subpoena from the district attorney's office, were you even aware of what you were being subpoenaed for? Objection, relevance. Grounds? Sustained. Not relevant. She's testifying in the trial and it's not relevant that she got subpoenaed? Mr. Brooks, she's here under your subpoena. And do you remember what the description was that evening that you gave it to, uh, gave to law enforcement? No, I told me it was a red SUV. The description of the driver, do you remember that? I know he was a black male. Did you happen to catch the license plate number of the vehicle at that time? No, not at all. And did you see the vehicle stop on Maple Street? Which vehicle? Uh, the SUV that you claim you saw. Oh, no, I didn't see it stop, no. It kept going through the parade. And I'm assuming at some point you were, or you either were interviewed by law enforcement or seek to be <coughs> by law enforcement. I did, um, by a detective. And did you know who the trial was for? Objection. Grounds. Sustained. Grounds for sustained. It's not I've, I've never heard of nobody testifying in a trial that they didn't know who the trial was for. Under 906.11, please ask a question, sir. Man, what is y'all people trying to pull up, man? This is, this is... Do you recall having a, a conversation with the plaintiff? Objection. Grounds. Misleading, legally inaccurate statement. Here. Grounds. Sustained us to the form of the question. Which of these subjects do you vit, minim, minimally recall wearing those uh, those items that evening? No, you asked me if I remember people running, and I said no. I remember describing those people to him. Or was it? I guess the correct question would be um, why did it swerve I don't know I wasn't driving I don't know what his intentions were objection grounds. okay so first of all the grounds, grounds are relevancy um, it's not relevant that would be the grounds you also have to state the grounds hold on let her get her position out Mr. Brooks and it mischaracterizes the former testimony. Sustained as to both crowns. Your Honor, with all due respect, as every question that I'm asking is relevant if it pertains to the plaintiff in this matter that seems to be nowhere Mr. found. You're making a legal argument. We'll take that up outside the presence of the jury. Move on. I believe the jury deserves to know who the plaintiff is in this matter. That's, that's very relevant to the case. How can they rule on something when they don't Mr. Brooks, know who the plaintiff is? Please, move on. And do you recall about how long ago you received that subpoena? Um, several weeks ago. So pretty recent, would be fair to say. Um, yes, I would, well, several weeks ago. I'm not sure if that's your definition of recent or not. Ask a question or I will declare the examination by you to be it's, ended. It's not, it's not an examination, it's direct. It's a direct examination, sir. Just so we have clarity, describe, uh, describe the subjects you saw st that evening standing by the vehicle. I don't remember that good. Can you, can you rephrase the question? I'm not understanding. I think it was clear, but I, I'll, I'll ask again. Do you recall having a phone conversation with the plaintiff in these? Same objection. Grounds. Sustained as to the form of the question. <clears throat> Do you yourself recall? Do you yourself recall reaching out to the plaintiff in this matter? I mean, you were describing them, so I, 
it brought back a little bit, but I, I can't tell you. That's, that was too long ago. Do you, do you recall stating that it humped several times? I don't and recall. When, when you were initially... I don't recall. You're recalling what you want to recall and purposely not recall. Objection. Don't. Badgering the witness. Yes, sustain. You do not have to answer that and you are warned. You may not badger or argue with this witness. Next question. <coughs> do you recall stating that you saw the SUV reverse into a driveway? No. Do you recall? Do you recall why that would be reported? No. What does that consist of? What What are their resources in pursuant to the complaint that you filed or claim that you filed? Right. Can you rephrase? Do you recall why? Do you recall why the report says that you advised De Detective Moss that there are three black subjects, specifically black subjects, running from the vehicle? No, I don't remember. Please ask your question again so that I'm clear. Have you yourself ever reached out to the plaintiff in this matter? And my objection is it's vague. And it's legally inaccurate. Sustain this to the form of the question. So it would be fair to say that you spoke with two different law enforcement officers that evening. <coughs> Do you even know if there is a plaintiff in this matter? Objection, our Sustained as to the form of the question. Do you recall in your in your interview with Detective Coates? In reference to the vehicle that you saw that evening, do you recall telling Detective Coates that it appeared there were three or four people in the Ford Escape as it passed you? No, I don't remember. No further questions? Um, any redirect? No, Your Honor, I'd ask Mr. Schloman be excused. All right, thank you, sir. You may step down. And he is excused. State will call Robert Stone. Do you recall in your interview with Detective Coates that evening stating that you could not provide any description of the occupants other than that they appeared to be African-American. Yeah, I remember saying that. So it'd be fair to say that you observed <coughs> African-Americans in this vehicle that you saw, correct? The, the reason why I came up with three or four people was because when I was walking by and I saw the car, there was two or three black males standing by the vehicle. And there was four, three, at least three or four more on the porch. So I figured they were by the vehicle, it must have been the ones trying to hide the vehicle because they were standing in front of it or real close to it. In your opinion, did it look like they were nervous or attempting to hide? Well, everybody was running past them and running really, walking really fast, and they were just standing around there. While at the parade that evening, do you recall stating to Detective Coates that it appeared that there were three or four people in the Ford Escape as it passed you during the parade that evening? No, I don't remember that. I saw the driver going by because he hit somebody right in front of us. And during that interview with Detective Coates that evening, do you recall stating to Detective Coates that you may be able to recognize the older male, so I'm assuming uh, one of the individuals that you saw 
standing shoulder to shoulder was was a, a older meal. Yeah, I don't remember. Any reason why multiple? Well, I'm not gonna say multiple. Uh, two. Any reason why the two detectives that you spoke with that night both reported that you stated you saw three black subjects running from the vehicle? No. No further questions at this time. Thank you, Annie Cross. Yes, Your Honor, thank you. Good afternoon, Mr. Lescano. Good afternoon. Sir, um, you said you watched the parade near Curry Insurance, is that correct? Yeah, right in front. Okay. Do you remember you said you saw the <coughs> SUV strike some people in the parade? Yeah. Yes. Do you remember what group of uh, people in the parade? Can you remember anything about the, the name or the banner or the costumes or anything like that? Objection, leading. Overrule, Ms. Cross. No, Speculative. Objection. Overrule. The witness may answer. I believe he said no. His answer may Yeah, no, I don't remember. Okay. Do you remember seeing the SUV strike more than one person? Yes. Objection. Speculative. Overrule. About how many people did you see the SUV strike, sir? Objection, speculative. Um, it was crowds. I mean, when it was coming through, when because I, I was standing over my daughter and my wife, they were sitting on the curb. I saw it coming through, and I, at first it looked like it was just pushing people out of the way, and then it, it was then I, it just kept swerving back and it was just plowing everybody out of the way until it got to in front of us. Then it actually hit somebody and. It's just did like a cartwheel in there. You remember that? Yeah, it was right in front of us. Okay. So, Mr. Liscano, I, I want to talk about the moment when you located this vehicle on Maple, okay? I'm going to ask, uh, Madam Clerk, could you please turn on the AV system? We're going to put up States Exhibit 65. Go ahead. Objection, objection to the relevancy of Exhibit 65. Noted, overruled. It's been received. The state may proceed. All right. Uh, this total clip is 36 seconds, but before we begin to play it, sir, do you recognize the area on the screen that's yeah. shown in this picture? Yeah, I believe that's Central Middle School. Where? Um, right at where the stairs is. Okay, the, the red brick on the left side of the picture? Yeah, objection okay. speculative. Overruled, his answer may stand, he said, I believe. And would you agree with me, the house where the SUV was found was up in this area here where I just put the green dot on the screen? Yeah, objection leading. Over, overruled, you may answer. Yes. That looks right, correct, sir? Objection leading. Overruled. All right, we're gonna um, clear the screen please, and we're going to play this entire clip for 36 seconds. Please watch and see if you see yourself or any of your family members in this clip. Objection to the relevancy of this video to this particular witness. Overruled. You may play the clip. Overruled on what grounds, Your Honor? That attack an agreement. Sir, did you see yourself or your family in that clip? Objection, special to you. <coughs> Overall. No, I did not. Okay. Now you said you did see, by the time you walked past the car, you saw two or three black males standing near the car, right? Objection, mischaracter okay. mischaracterization of this. He said three. Specifically said the number. Overruled. And you also said you saw two or three what you thought to be black males on the porch of the residence there, correct? Objection. Stated it was black males. Asked and answered. Um, overruled. The witness may answer. No. I'm the, sorry. Go ahead. No, there was two or three standing by the vehicle. Okay. And then on the porch, there was maybe three or four or more people. I, I don't know if they were 
I'm sure they were white, but okay. I didn't. I was trying to not make it obvious at, at the time. I believe that they were with the vehicle, so I didn't want them to see that I saw them. So I just I'm did what sure. I thought was right at the time. Sure. Do you happen to know the people that live at this house? Objection, speculative. Overrule. No, I do not. Would it be reasonable, do you think, Mr. Lescano, that people living in the house heard the crash and came outside and that's who you saw standing there by the vehicle? Objection. There was never any cra crash mentioned. Um, I'll sustain calls for speculation. Mr. Lescano, is it possible that the people you saw standing near the vehicle were in fact just neighbors that saw the vehicle the same way you did? Yeah. You described that at the time you went by on Maple Street, there was a lot of people running around in the area. Is that correct? Objection, mischaracterization of testimony. Overruled. Yes, there was. And these were people hurrying away from the parade with their families, trying to get to safety just like you were, correct? Objection, speculative. Um, overruled, the witness may answer. Yes. You didn't see anything like that in States Exhibit 65, did you? No, I did not. Okay. You said on um, direct examination that you saw the driver of the SUV in the parade. Is that right? Yes, I did. And you see that driver present in this courtroom here today, please? Objection, speculative. Overruled. Yes, he's sitting right over there. Are you sure about that, sir? Yes. Objection. Speculative. Overruled. You said that... This characterizes the testimony because that, that was not testified to before on... Uh, Direct. Oh, your objections are overruled. I believe the witness already answered. Go ahead. <laughs> Did you happen to notice in Exhibit 65 the red SUV in that video clip that you watched? No. You didn't see it at all, did it. you? No. Okay. Just wondered. Mr. Liscano, have you and I ever spoken about this case, sir? No. What about Attorney Basie here to my right, you heard her ever talk about this case or your testimony? Objection, hearsay. Um, overruled. No. Mr. Wichow on the end, did you ever talk to him about Objection. your test testimony, sir? Objection, hearsay. Overruled. No. All right, thank you, sir. I don't have any other questions. Thank you. Any redirect? Yep. Go ahead. You stated... You stated that you saw the driver, correct? Of yeah. the SUV that you saw that day, correct? Yeah. How did the driver look that day you saw him? Scruffy, he had a scruffy beard and he was a black male. Did you see what the driver was wearing? No, I don't remember that. Did you see if the driver had any hair? I don't remember that either. Did you see if the driver had any Anything noticeable about their appearance, tattoos, scars, marks, anything like that? No. I saw the side, the profile, the side. You were flying fast down that street. I wasn't paying attention to the color of clothes you were wearing. I knew it was a black male and had a scruffy beard. It's the first thing I told my wife is he was a black guy driving. And do you recall how long you were able to get a side view, as you called it, of the alleged driver? Well, it had to be a couple seconds. <coughs> and in a couple seconds' time, you were able to make out the driver's profile and race just by a couple seconds. Yeah. It's not hard. You could tell if you were white or if you were black and if you had a beard or not. That's it. I don't know what color shirt you had on, if you had a hair, a hat on backwards. So that leads back to the question of Is that the only person you saw in the vehicle? From what I remember, yes. I saw the driver. <coughs> like I said before, the reason why I thought there was three or four because I saw 
three or four people around the vehicle when I spotted it. So would it be That's fair, the only reason? Would it be fair to say that when you spoke with two different detectives that evening, the evening of the parade, both of those officers reported that you stated there were three or four people in the SUV as it passed you. Is that fair to say? Well, wait, can you repeat that again? Just for clarification, you already stated previously in testimony that you spoke with two different detectives that evening, correct? Yes, I did. And both detectives that you spoke with that evening, the evening of November 21st, 2021, you stated to both of those law enforcement officers, detectives, that you observed three or four people in the SUV. Like I said before, the reason why I said there must have been three or four was because they were standing by a vehicle. So I assumed that they were with the vehicle. I didn't I don't remember seeing them in the vehicle when they were hitting when you were hitting the people. You stated this to both to both detectives, two different detectives. The evening of November 21st, 2021. And this was in relation to what you saw from the vehicle at the parade, not where the vehicle was later found. Any reason why you stated to both detectives in relation to what you saw at the parade, why both detectives in their reports stated that you told them that you observed three or four people in the SUV at the time of the parade. So what's your question? The question is, why did you report that to two different detectives on the same evening? Like, like I told you before, when I walked past the vehicle, I spotted more than one individual standing in front of the vehicle. So I no, assumed no, 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 they no. were with the vehicle. I'm sorry. That's why I said they were inside. I'm sorry. That, that's why I said they were, they were in the vehicle. I said there had to be at least three of them in the vehicle. That's the only reason I said that. So why would you report that you saw this during the parade? And during both uh, interviews with detectives that evening, the evening of November 21st, 2021, you also stated to both detectives that you observed <coughs> three or four black or African-American is, is the word used, three or four African-Americans running from the vehicle. Any reason why both detectives reported that you said that. No, I don't remember. No further questions. Thank you, sir. You, can, you may step down. No further questions at this time. Thank you. Any cross? Uh, yes, just briefly. Mm -hmm. Good afternoon, Mr. Hayes. Good afternoon. Thank you for your attendance, sir. Um, Mr. Hayes, do you remember uh, seeing a police officer at this intersection as well? I don't recall. Okay. Do you remember writing in your report or telling the police officer that a police officer chased the vehicle on foot? Objection, leading. Overall, it's cross. You may answer. I do remember that I thought I saw a police chasing after the car on foot. Okay. And do you remember also telling uh, the same officer that the SUV uh, took off down the street and that it accelerated? Yes. Objection. Is that? Hold on, there's been an objection. Uh, I guess the objection to be what, what officer is being referred to wasn't clear. Um, overruled. Uh, the 
state may continue asking the question. I guess I was asking what it, was that referring to the um, interview officer? Your or? objection is noted. It's overruled. The state may ask the question fully. Is that your recollection, sir, that the vehicle sped off and accelerated away? Yes. Objection speculative. Overruled. Do you also recall telling the officer who interviewed you that the driver of the vehicle had a dark complexion and a beard? Yes. Is that accurate with your recollection of the driver? Yes. But you didn't see a face. You couldn't no. I identify anybody leading. beyond those descriptions, Hold correct? On. Hold on. There's been an objection to leading. It's overruled. The witness may answer. No. All right. Thank you, sir. Those were all my questions. Thank you. Any redirect, sir? Briefly, um, very briefly, you, you, you made a reference to the, the driver of the vehicle having dark complexion, a dark complexion. Uh, what would you consider a dark complexion? Um, a dark complexion, I don't know. It is, it is kind of hard. <laughs> did you notice uh, any clothing? I did uh, not, no. Uh, did you notice any hair? No. Uh, no further questions? All right, thank you. You may step down. And you are excused. All right, go ahead and call your next witness. Well, thank you for watching, everyone. We hope that you have a blessed day, and we hope that you'll be back in the morning with us at 10 a.m. to watch the pretrial hearing for his other case in Milwaukee. Until then, have a blessed day.